contact. We're good. We know each other. Not many teams. Kobe Overhill. A three. There by Gortat. A flash of defense. Back to Bryant. This is a three. Phoenix, you've got a foul. Bryant with the runner. For the Kobe series, like I always say, but for basketball models in general, the Kobe 5 is actually arguably one of the greatest basketball shoes of all time. With the Kobe 4, he did go to a low top, and with the 5, he returned to low top, but he asked for even lower and an even lighter basketball shoe. Yo guys, it's Brother D and it's another episode of Mamba Monday. Last week I went into the Zoom Kobe 5s and this week on Mamba Mondays I'm going to be doing the Zoom Kobe 6. With the Zoom Kobe 6, Kobe was looking to do more um, adjusting and more development to the shoe line of his and the low top. He wanted to be, make it more revolutionary and a little bit more different and keep pushing the envelope. So Nike made the, the Zoom Kobe 6 for Kobe. It was a very great shoe, very nice, um, unique colorway, a great performance shoe. Um, the very uniqueness about this is they actually added the um, snake-like, snake skin to the, actually to the upper of the shoe. And people just thought, even myself when it first time I said, oh, that's just a design, it may not look that great. Not only does it look great, but there's actually a functionality um, to this snake skin pattern on here. So with the upper of the Kobe 6, you have three layers. You have your fly wire um, as the first layer. Then you have your mesh. And then on top of that, you have the snake skin. The snake skin actually acts as just like a real snake skin as an armor to protect the fly wire and the mesh um, so you don't rip out your shoe, so um, no damage or anything. The shoe still stays intact and you don't hurt yourself. So that's a great feature. Also, inside the shoe, you have your um, insoles that actually mold to your foot. If you own a pair of Kobe 6s, you'll see uh, one shoe says, I want a shoe. Then the uh, right foot says, to mold to my foot. They actually does have a feature where the shoe, the shoe's insole actually begins to mold to your foot after a couple wears of, um, and a couple times that you play in them. So that's a great feature. You also have a different outsole, more so looks like a honeycomb feature. Very nice uh, feature. I'd like to take a look at that. So that's very cool. So I do want to get into the colorways really quickly, uh, as I always do. First, you have the Del Sol colorway right here. All black with yellow and gray. White midsole. I'm sorry, my um, white sole. Very clean colorway. Very. This is a classic colorway as well. And you have the Tour Yellows. Kobe actually wears a lot in the playoffs. Have your yellow, black, and white. 
very cool, clean colorway. Next, I want to get into one of my favorites. The China colorway. Absolutely one of my favorite Kobe's. Uh, sixes. Have your all silver. Have your purple and your white. Red Kobe sign. Red signature. Very cool looking colorway. These are absolutely gorgeous right here. Next, you have your gradient fades right here. Purple gradient fades. You have your uh, Comcore purple that fades into a black. You have a silver check. Silver hill cup. Silver Kobe sign. Very cool colorway. This is probably my uh, second favorite Kobe 6 right here. These things are phenomenal. Wear these a lot. Next you have the Chaos colorway. They continue the Chaos colorway. This is actually the last time we will see the Chaos colorway actually and, and sadly. You have your ink purple, your uh, vault checks, crimson in, inside, sock liner. You have your gray vault soles, blood splatter. Look at that right there. This thing is gorgeous right here, man. These things are freaking sexy. Very nice. Then you have your all-star Kobe 6, all red, white, and black. Actually, not a big red fan. I wish that sometime they could switch the colors or the West players could wear like blue sometimes because I don't like, I'm not a big fan of red. But these are a very nice colorway, very clean, simple colorway. Much love to these. Uh, speaking of All Star, Bryant's played by Rose, finding space. Oh. On the Nice ball movement. Kobe Bryant on the Bryant ahead of the field. LeBron tries to chase the <laughs> uh, Kobe did uh, the All Star game was host hosted in L. A. So they released the All Star pack for Kobe. Here's another All Star. Uh, this is the 3D. 3D Kobe six. You have that 3D effect to it. Look at that, don't get hypnotized. Very cool. Blue check, red check. You have your 3D glasses inside of there. Look at that right there, bam. Next, you have your uh, Ocean County or Sunset colorway. Very, this is actually, uh, some people's are definitely in their top three Kobe 6s right here. These things are freaking phenomenal, man. I love these things. You have your sunset orange, orange peel, orange. You have your gray with a little bit of black orange laces. These things are freaking sick, man. These things are freaking sick. I love these things. Boom. Very nice. And lastly, you have your East LA Kobe 6. Uh, each shoe actually has a printed design. You can see some clouds, some smog, telephone poles. Tells a tells a very nice story. Let's see, look at them soles right there. Very cool colorway. All blue, red tips, red signature, red Kobe sign. Boom. So that's the All Star pack. Next, you have the BHM Black History Month Kobe Six, black and gold. Have your BHM in gold, red, and green. Gold Kobe sign. You can see these markings and scars. Very cool colorway. Next, you have what some people feel as though is the greatest Kobe on earth. And I absolutely disagree. But it is a great colorway. The Grinch. These things not too long ago were doing so much money on eBay. So many great collectors were so tempted to sell these things because of the money that people were paying for them. Oh, it's ridiculous. Um, Nike, and I'm guessing Kobe calls these, or some people refer to these as the Green Mambas. Um, another name for them is the Grinch, obviously inspired by the Grinch that stole Christmas. Kobe wore these on Christmas Day. 
Uh, they came with green laces. I added red laces. They did come. They came with both. These red laces came in a pouch, and it did um, were laced originally with green laces. Very cool, fun uh, colorway, and you can't go wrong with this thing. This thing's a very clean colorway. It's gonna catch your eye. You have this um, green apple colorway with black check. This thing's green all over, man. This thing's like a like. Oh man, just like the Grinch. Very cool, but it's not the greatest Kobe. It's a great Kobe, but not the greatest. Not the greatest Kobe. Next you have the Laker 3D, Laker Home 3D. Same thing as the 3Ds for the All-Star Game, but this is in Laker colorways for my Laker fans. Boom, Laker. Laker all over this thing. This just screams Laker. Next you have these right here. Laker colorway right here. All purple. It's Imperial purple right here. Imperial purple with your yellow check, yellow Kobe sign, yellow signature. These things are gorgeous for my Laker fans. This is for my Laker fans, man. Next, you have your Laker grading. I love these. It's actually another one of my favorites right here. Another one of my favorites right here. Look at this thing right here. Look at this. Look, look what it does. Purple on this side. Yellow on this side. White check. Oh yeah, this thing's phenomenal. Same thing on both shoes, left and right. Doesn't even matter. This is gorgeous. Next, you have your Think Pink Kobe 6. This is actually the last Think Pink to release. We didn't get a 7 at all. The 8s didn't release. This is the last released Think Pink Kobe. I don't know why they stopped. Nike, why'd you stop? We need. We love the Think Pink series. We love it. We need it. We desire it. We crave it. We need that. Now uh, you have your K. Yao, Brandon, right on the side. All pink, white, and silver. Very great shoe. Very great shoe for a great cause. Next, you have the camos. One of my favorites. Not pictured. I have the... Um, Italian camo and the vault camo. This is the urban camo right here. Uh, my friend Ty, um, you guys know Ty, Nike talker. When he first wore these, I was like, I gotta have these things. I didn't know where he got them or how he got them, but once he got them, he put me on, and I found a pair. The rest is history. Another one of my favorite pairs right here. Have your white, black, and gray camo, blue check. Crimson Kobe sign, white soles, these things are to die for. Lower Man, you guys know I'm Lower Man to the death. Love these things right here. I love Lower Man colorways. These things are gorgeous. Very nice colorway. Ace branding right on the side. Silver and burgundy, silver and maroon. Love, love, love. Like the KL. The Rice Kobe 6 was the last Rice. Kobe um, released this last Rice colorway. The school did shut down. And this was the last Rice. Metallic gold, I'm guessing part of this is. An iridescent gold and green. Green check. Predominantly black. Rice branding right there. Then you have your snake right there. I don't know if a lot of people ever noticed that, but it's a snake right there, right there. That's a snake right there. Boom. You have these green soles that are very cool. For once, guys, we have a clear table. Clear table, clear table. Next, I want to go into my IDs that I didn't make like I always do. Another Laker colorway for me. This is inspired by the Carpe Diem. Just a tad bit. All black, yellow check, purple, yellow sock line, a little bit of gray. Bam. Look at that soul boy. Bam. Next. I have these. No particular inspiration. Um, as, far, as far as the, the colorway goes. Just thought they were cool and decided to make them. Green, black, purple. This is the fade option on Nike ID. Very cool. Next, I have these. Now, I want you to take a look at these and what do these remind you of? 
Barcelona Sixes, don't they? I made these before Barcelona Sixes released. Nike again. If you're using my colorway, just let me know. I don't I really don't mind. I really don't mind. Blue, yellow, red, a little bit of silver. Definitely very reminiscent of the Barcelona 6. Um, very clean colorway. Another Nike ID that I make. This is not the Barcelona 6. This is a Nike ID. And lastly, as we always do, yes, I did get them. Um, this is the Prelude Kobe 6. This thing is gorgeous. Unlike the Kobe 5, I do actually like these a lot. This is probably in my top three Kobe Preludes. I love these a lot. Have this print with all these different animals, sharks, and all this type of animal kingdom thing going on right here. This colorway is very nice colorway, very clean. Uh, actually, isn't clean at all. I know people say clean colorways. This actually isn't a clean colorway. There's a lot going on. A lot going on color wise, detail wise, a lot going on. But this is a great shoe, great prelude. I did get them. I do want another pair. Last thing I do want to show you guys really quickly. This is the first time with Nike that Kobe did get his own box. So bam, this is Kobe's box. Kobe got his own box. No more orange boxes. Kobe got his own box. Yay, Kobe, all black. Snake skin on it. Phenomenon, however you say that. Kobe sign right in the middle. Yay, Kobe, new box. This is the end of the video, guys. Again, this is Brother D. I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. If you watch this for the first time, welcome to my Mondays. If you guys have been watching the series, thank you guys for continuing to watch. I'm welcoming all people. Please share and show the love. Uh, let everybody know what I'm doing over here. I'll see you guys next time on Monday. Peace.